in well, I, I don't think I've hurt my chances, but of course, I, I, me personally, I want to make a lot more plays, you know, be more sharper in my, you know, responsibilities, checks and everything. Mainly it's just getting better every day. You got to go out there and get better every day. Um, I mean, an observer at practice can see when you when you don't do something you like at practice, you're very vocal about it. I mean, people are saying you're developing maybe into a leader. Is that just something that just comes naturally, that, that yelling when you mess up and that kind of thing? <laughs> well, actually, I mean, my dad, you know, my parents have always coached me up to be, you know, a leader on and off the field. So, I mean, of course, I have high expectations of myself. My dad, uh, uh, you know, instilled that in me, never settled for less. And so when I mess up, of course, I'm, like, upset, but more upset about myself. And, of course, I, I would be, I, you know, I don't mind being a leader. I have, you know, passion for the game. I have love for the game. I don't mind carrying the team on my back. I, you know, I'll do anything, you know, to give us a victory whenever it is needed. Mm -hmm. uh, as it stands now, it looks like TJ is with you in the in the secondary. DJ Bryant, yeah. you guys high school mates. I mean, it's yeah. pretty rare for two guys to come three thousand miles across the country. <laughs> and you just describe that a little bit. Well, yeah. I mean, I was looking at a lot, like the year he left, he left a year earlier, and I was just thinking, like, man. SC came and got him, and I was just like, I, at first, SC um, didn't offer me as early you know, as TJ did, but I was just like, that would be pretty cool. And then when they did offer me, I was looking at the depth chart and everything, and I saw it was, you know, I had a chance to play, you know, myself by my sophomore year. So I was like, I mean, this is cool, you know. And me and TJ, you know, we play with each other in high school, so we know each other's tendencies. And we're on the same side, you know, because I was playing in high school, we're on the same side here. I mean, it's just, we just play, you know, mm -hmm. naturally. Some people describe your guys' kind of relationship as since you've been dealing for so long as you guys, you know, crack jokes at each other, that kind of yeah. thing. Is it, I mean, per, off the field, is it cool to have you two guys just through the relationship to have someone now? It's like your sixth year of knowing each other? Yeah, I mean, because um, I'm moving in with them this uh, this uh, summer, so it's pretty cool. And also, it's just, you know, you have a comfort, you know, support, you know, somebody that knows you way back, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much probably knows me the best out of any other um, teammates and everything like that. So, I mean, it's always a good thing that you can find in somebody, you know, crack jokes, have a good time with. What about other guys in the secondary? I mean, Sharice is developing into a leader this offseason, yeah. and maybe you got another guy, maybe your year, like TJ McDonald. Yeah. What have you seen from these other guys out there? Well, TJ, me and TJ McDonald, we always pushing each other. We stay after practice working, you know, trying to get each other better. And we're, we're looking at this as, you know, we're the same year, so it's coming up years we can possibly start, you know, mm -hmm. be the, the, the leader of the defense, possibly the leader of the teams. And you know, just drive, be a driving factor. You know, be the ones that everybody looks onto. You know, as, as far as you know, needs motivation. I mean, I'm going to be vocal. TJ is going to be vocal. We're going to bring that energy that everybody needs. And of course, Sharice is the most experienced out of us, so everybody you know respects that. And uh, he's always he's been a leader like vocally, and so it's always a good thing. He leads by example, also. Last thing, um, that flag. I mean, I feel like a couple weeks ago the idea was started. Is it has it held through this this you know the the cool factor of, the, of these these flags and the special teams drills? Oh yeah, I mean this, is, this flag is the point leader for the team, and um, I mean I've had it for I don't know how many practices, but I mean it's good and stay motivated. You know, it's, it's basically you practice hard, you be rewarded hard, and so it's a good thing that you know you have a war system.